And Santa Claus. We sold the shit out of Santa Claus, man. Did it all. Whole mythology, just everything. Different wrapping paper for Santa, different pen for Santa, the tags. Bit the cookies, chomped the carrots, drank the milk, even though I'm fucking lactose intolerant. <laughs> Took one. Even did the elf on the shelf. You know what that is? The elf is a representative from Santa's workshop in your household. And if you don't have little kids, they're all into it. And so you can just buy it at the store, and then you bring it home. And the backstory is supposed to name the elf. And then he's going to be with you for the entire Christmas holiday. When your tree comes out, the elf comes out. And as a parent, you're supposed to move the elf every single night. And some parents really get into it. And they like scatter the toilet paper around. And like, Bob got into the fucking toilet paper. <laughs> and it's like, oh. The kids go crazy. Me and my wife are the opposite. We forget to move the thing 70% of the time. <laughs> our kids named our elf Jerry. They think the name Jerry is hilarious. They're big Seinfeld fans. And so they go, where's Jerry? You hear a little kid, where's Jerry? And my wife goes, holy shit, we forgot to move fucking Jerry. And so just barrel rolls out of bed, goes running into the living room, grabs Jerry like he's a grenade, looks like Bruce Willis in slow motion. Throwing a thing. Jerry ends up all fucked up in the corner. My daughter walks in three seconds later. Oh, look, Jerry's sleeping. <laughs> yeah, he's sleeping. We just didn't move him 10 seconds ago. I lost him. I lost Jerry. We just moved, and he was stuck in a box, I guess. We never found him. Who knows where Jerry is? And I, it's two weeks before Christmas, and I'm at Target. My wife goes, hey, get a nude fuck at Jerry, will you? But it's two weeks before Christmas. And this thing got really popular, so I'm in the elf aisle. All the white elves are gone. They just got the black one and the Mexican one. So I'm just looking at these two guys, figuring out what lie it's gonna be. Can't bring home the black one. You go, hey kids, how you doing? Um, come here. So, there's been some changes at Santa's workshop. Jerry's no longer with them. Uh, meet Barry. Better watch your ass, because he doesn't fuck around. No, I got the Mexican one. It made sense. Get the Mexican one. I just thought I'd put it up high so they wouldn't notice that he was darker. So I put him in a sconce, put him over a motion detector, and I just found my daughter one day just looking at him. <laughs> Going, is Jerry looking tan to you? <laughs> and I just did some drive-by lying, you know, and you just, we, lie, we, we tell our kids not to lie, and just we're lying to them constantly. <laughs> So I walk by and I go, well, that's probably why he was late, because he went to Hawaii or something on vacation. <laughs> he just goes, oh, okay. And you just want to grab him and go, no, it's not okay, all right? Figure it 